Hello, my name is Liza, and today I'm going to share with you my process for creating my Halloween wine glass candle holders. What you're going to need from the Dollar Tree are the Halloween plastic stemless wine cups. I happen to pick up two. The, they do separate. But you have to be really careful. The first one I tried, because I really didn't know if it was glued or not, I snapped it. But then when I realized it wasn't glued and I was careful, I did manage to get the glass out intact and the hand is still intact. Next, I took some chalk paint and I painted my both of the hands of the both cups. It took several layers and then while it was drying I spray painted my wine glass black and then I added hot glue drips actually I was trying to repair the cup and that's why I did it this way I also had some Dollar Tree red nail polish and I took the nail polish and I covered up all the glue drips to make it look like um, blood dripping down the outside of the glass. I used mineral chalk paint to scuff up the hand so it didn't look so pristine because he's been buried a while. And then you can see I also added glue drips to the hand and I also added paint to the glue drips. And here is the cup and the hand holding the cup. Notice that the glue drips um, match. Here you can see I just added a votive candle so you could see what it would look like. Of course, it's flameless because it's plastic. Here it's holding the Dollar Tree Halloween bottle. This is actually a Dollar Tree flameless candle that I made last year. This is a dollar, um, Target Dollar Spot $1 pumpkin, and here it's holding the pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. So it's quite versatile in what it can ha hold. But I was going to turn it into a candle holder, so I got one of the glass candle holders, and I painted it white. It did take two or three coats. While it was drying, I found an empty ribbon spool and noticed that it would fit nicely inside the jar if I took off one of the ends of the paper. I also had a package of the LED fairy lights and I took the battery pack and I popped it into the cylinder of the ribbon spool and then I wrapped the fairy lights around the ribbon spool. Once it was all wrapped, I turned it upside down and dropped it back inside the wine glass. I have a die cutting machine, so I cut a circle that was the same size as the glass. You can also trace your glass and just cut your black paper. And I dropped it in and laid it on top of the ribbon roll. And then I added a black Halloween flameless votive. And here you can see how it would look on the candlestick. I did add some mineral chalk paint so that it would match the hand. And since it looked like now it was an arm, I gave it a bracelet by cutting a piece of red diamond wrap. And here are the candles. Here it is with just the um, tea lights. And here is with the tea lights and the fairy lights on. And I moved the fairy lights to the smaller glass so you could see what that would look like. But my favorite is just leaving it looking like this way. And I call this Cheers. I hope you enjoyed my project. If you did, please give it a like. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll be back again soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.